When castles of clouds formed around us and the wind slowed down, we knew we arrived in the doldrums. Just a few moments later, the rain started. But out on the ocean, without rain, for over 20 days, we actually loved every single raindrop falling out of the sky. A proper shower to wash the salt from our skin and especially zero felt amazing and with fresh thoughts we started a new chapter of our journey. Welcome to the doldrums where the wind is shifting, the squalls are chasing you and the currents are driving you nuts. The weather changed so quick from sunshine to rain, from dead calm to strong winds and depending on the approaching squall, wind directions change faster than you can imagine. It kept us busy adjusting the sails. We used every breeze, shook out the sails but started the engine to put us through the calms. Because the sea was so confused, we left the main up to stabilize the boat. Now with the boat movements slightly under control, everybody found a spot. Raining? I can see it on the horizon, spray painted in black and white. Into the fire Once more 
loved the Dodger before, but now it showed its real potential. Most of the life happened below deck now, but some special gimmicks spiced up our routine. <laughs> and who says you can't have snow in the doldrums? <laughs> no, he's I'm still in a tent and he's calling on a tent. Oh no, I'm off his call outside. <laughs> Windy. Yeah. Oh, who's that guy? <laughs> That's your lover, you don't know that? It's his birthday. Oh, it's very cold. <laughs> it's so white. <laughs> it's very really cold because it's like, yeah, you are in everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, don't fall off. Don't fall off. You're still on the boat. Wow. Where's this? <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's a female program now. The title is Solo to Antarctica, right? Yes. Or Solo to the South Pole or no? South Pole. And no one ever been to the South Pole, eh? Almost through, we could see the end of the clouds. Crossing that line immediately changed our life. Wind and sun came back simultaneously. But the last squall hit us so hard that our most important sail, our main sail, ripped into pieces. It came out of nowhere and in the middle of the night, of course. All hands were on deck immediately, but the damage was done within the first gust. Shortly after the incident, the doldrums were history. Trade wind sailing is by far the most enjoyable. Let's see how Zero performs without main sail for the remaining thousand miles. And with the crew adjusting that everything falls to starboard now, we made good speed towards the equator. Spirits were high and the expectations were pushed from the captain telling us old stories about that mystical lion. Are you responsible for that smell here? Yeah, exactly. That's me. Pasta. Yeah, simple. After the quesadillas, after the great success of today. <laughs> well, it's basically just the tortilla and the cheese and whatever you want to put on top. I just made like a salsa with cebolla. Wow! It's set.
Are you hungry? Huh? Y digo, pásame el tomate porque aquí ya no hay. When we left the shore, we knew it would be a great adventure. We were seeking it, hoping to create memories we never forget, gathering stories we could tell in a retirement home one day. And this trip so far had all what we expected. And the best of it? It's not over yet. At this moment, no one can tell where we should go. Oh, it's coming. We thought we had it, the truth about our common soul. That it was fair. Next time on Sailing Zero, we were put on watch to spot the line and prepared for standing trial with King Neptune. Tadpoles we are, that's for sure. We never crossed your border before. watching this video. We made this video for you. If you like it, help us on Patreon to make more videos. And don't miss out on all the other great stories. Aloha. Love ya. Doesn't feel alone. It's just me.